Hello, this is Trog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Skyblock world from 1.12 to 1.13 using the Skyblock Updater Data Pack. So, first thing you want to do is take your world and make a backup if you don't have a backup. I definitely have like three backups, so I'm going to say I know what I'm doing because I, I already have the backups. So, we are now in 1.13. So the first thing you want to do in your world is you want to open to LAN, allow cheats on, and create LAN world. So what we want to do is we want to go to game mode spectator. And now we install the data pack. Okay, now we've got my the Skyblock 4.0 data packs here. We double click on that so we can open it in WinRAR and we open these folders and we can see the three files we're going to need here so now what we want to do is t go down here and type in run app data percent sign app data minecraft now we go down here to our saves and i'm going to be updating trav's world here and now what we want to do before we do anything else we want to take this generated folder and we want to put it in here. So now we have our structures that we're going to be using later on in the tutorial. Now we're going to go to data packs and we're just going to highlight these, drag and drop them into the folder. Okay, so now they are installed. So now we can go back to the game. And if you saved and quit it, you didn't have to. I did just because that's what I do. Um, if you do that, now you can open to LAN again, type reload, and once you've reloaded, if the message doesn't pop up, you can go to data pack, enable, and then it says snowball de terrain deletion is not in. So we hit tab, and that installs it. Now if you read the messages, you can see where this is going. We have to venture out in the world, in this world, to find generated chunks that 1.13 has put in that shouldn't be in because it's skyblock but since the update makes new chunks we have to go and find those delete them so i suggest searching for them in spectator mode then i'll show you what to do after that now that i'm flying out in the emptiness towards the world border we will eventually see there's the world border right there but there are also chunks around this area. They usually form around the world border, but sometimes they can form closer. Oh, there they are. So this is what we want to destroy because this is not Skyblock. This is some random chunks of updatedness. And the reason we can't change this with MC Edit and we have to use this data pack is because MC Edit is not updated for 1.13. So I decided to make this data pack instead. What you're going to want to do is go into creative mode and give yourself a snowball. Now that you have the snowball, you can throw it and it will delete in a 20 by 20 area. It's insane. It's I was so much fun to make this because it just I mean, look at it. It just destroys all the chunks, but it's a little tricky. As you can see, the bedrock kind of stays there. Even if we throw it down like this, the bedrock still stays. So I have a few tips that I figured out from updating this world and my world. After a lot of updating, this is my strategy. I throw the snowball at the bottom of the chunks at this angle, and most of the time it deletes all of the bedrock. Sometimes, however, if the angle is too large, like that one, or too low, I should say, uh, the bedrock stays. You just adjust like I did there and keep going. And uh, you may be thinking this is very tedious if you're actually doing this along with me, and it is. So if you are at all thinking you maybe want to restart just for fun, I would suggest doing that. And then there's also a link to the updated map where you don't have to update like this in the description. But personally, for my world, I don't want to let it go. I want to update it. I want to keep going at it because I love the world and the concepts that I have. So... That's why I'm staying. If you want to stay and do the same and you want to put in this work to delete the chunks, go for it and, and keep chugging along with me. 
After you get a big stretch of the bottom of the terrain deleted, I suggest going up and deleting the top portion just like this. It creates an interesting wave if your computer can handle that many snowballs being thrown at once. But uh, this is the best and fastest way that I have found to delete terrain. I would love to hear if you guys find a better way to do it in the description because this is such a tedious task, but it has to be done if you want to update your world. But there's a few other things that we have to do. They're really simple. This takes the longest out of everything. So you're in the home stretch if you've gotten this far. Let's get into the last thing that you need to do to update your world. Okay, now we're in my world because I already did this last step for TRAVs. So what you want to do in your creative mode is type slash function snowball colon temple and that will teleport you to where a ocean temple might be now if it is here because in TRAV's world it's not in the normal world it is in my world it is but for some reason in TRAV's it's not if it is there I want you to take a snowball and destroy it because we are going to revamp it now, you also need to make sure that your game mode is in normal for this. So, if it is there, make sure that you destroy it so we can rebuild it in the correct spot. Because it is basically in the same spot, but I think it's shifted a few blocks over in the normal version. Um, if you don't want to delete it, if you feel like it's kind of dumb to delete it and then regenerate it, then you don't have to. But regenerating it will give you the elder guardians um, if they aren't there in the first place because in this one they aren't so that will give you the elder guardians which you need for a lot of the challenges so now what we're going to do is we're going to type the same function in again snowball temple and it should as you can see everything has been starting to build uh, you can see a bunch of mobs spawning in and that is because of the command that you typed in so yep there we go there's the elder guardians all spawning in and then the blocks will appear now so it's very laggy at first and that's because it's building massive structures so there we go it is fully executed the water will run down into the void and you've got yourself the temple you want so now what we're going to do, since that's done, is we're going to go function snowball and we're going to type uh, mansion here. And then we type slash function snowball mansion again. And this time, if we're in the chunks, it should generate. There we go. You see all the mobs spawning. So the first time you type in the command, it teleports you. The second time you type it in, it actually generates the thing. So this is a woodland mansion. Yes, in this version, you will be able to go and fight a woodland mansion. Um, but because of how big the structure is, it actually messes up and you're gonna have to go through and place these redstone blocks back and it will generate the last it, it will generate the last parts of the mansion and that's the last thing you need to do to update so we go in here and you teleport yourself to zero 100 zero is usually where i go and that puts me basically in the center of most people's bases because that's where the spawn island is and now this is the last step you want to go game mode survival uh that's not survival next thing you want to do is data pack disable and then you want to hit tab until you see snowball terrain deletion if you don't disable this anytime you or a snow golem throws a snowball it will destroy everything so make sure you disable it. Now you want to go to game rule, do tile drops true. And, and that's it. Now you're done. Everything is done. You can play in 
I, I don't suggest deleting the snowball terrain generation just in case you find some chunks while you're flying around with your elytra that are not deleted. So, uh, if you need to delete them again, just do the data pack enable and enable the snowball terrain deletion and you should be good to go. But I'm so excited to play this in 1.13. You have no idea. Advancements, all the stuff being updated. Ooh, so much fun. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next Skyblock episode because I'm, I'm going to play this right now.